G'day, Mr. Buzz here. Uh, I've got a video for you today which is a little bit different. It does contain blade and sorcery footage, but it's not a blade and sorcery video. It's not a forest video. It's a bit of an art video. So I took a screenshot and I turned it into a little drawing because I was going to try and make some thumbnails for blade and sorcery because you could customize the way your character looked, but sadly that was taken away. But I still took my little image and transported it into my phone where I have a, a drawing app and I used a little stylus that I've got. Draw the picture. So yeah, you can set the transparency of the image, select what uh, tool you want to use. In my case, I'm using a paint roller. And, and then start my drawing. I find the, the little paint roller gives it a little bit of style, unique to the image, so I'm also going to speed this footage up because I don't really want to bore you with the entire drawing because it did take a little while, about 45 minutes or so. I had a lot of fun drawing this one, and you're zooming in on a pixelated image trying to get you know, fine details, it can be a bit tough, that's as close as I could zoom in I think there. And of course, you know, I'm not looking for perfection. So as you can see, I'm not tracing it 100% on the line. But doing my best to try and get, you know, as much detail into a small image as I could. Now this footage is actually sped up around about 2,000%. So don't forget you can subscribe. I do play The Forest and Blade and Sorcery. Uh, I tried to play a few other games on the PlayStation, but yeah, couldn't really get there. <laughs> I'll come back to them. So, finishing off these touches on the little extra detail up the top. And I'll also change colour here, just to give that lightning a bit of that blue hue. And there we go. So once I've got that, I can take away my background image there, and you can see the actual drawing. And I transport that picture across into one of my favorite art programs. It's very expensive. Free. Paint 3D. Comes with Windows. And I just started filling in all the colors, but um, I did find that because of the tool that I used in the art program, I had to come back and fill in some of these gaps because when I was just filling in the gaps it was overflowing into the areas I didn't want so I had to go around touch up these little spaces I guess you'd call them in the lines so that I could fill in the bits that I wanted and I have to say this was probably the longest part of the whole process it did take me a while so I decided not to film it, cut it short, and uh, I'll bring you the finished product, where I've done my colouring, I've used a few other tools to do shading and highlighting, um, so here it is. This is my female character, I've recreated this character, but not in that outfit. And of course, finishing off the head detail, and you get a nice little image taken from a screenshot, from a little bit of footage that I got in OBS. So, I hope you like this little video that I put together, show a different side of me, I guess, artistic side. I'm not just about gaming, um, even though the channel is mainly aimed at gaming. But a little bit of an insight into how maybe I'll do some thumbnails in the future. And hopefully they bring back this the clothing customization for the characters, because that was a lot of fun. I do like making the characters, you know, individualized. Gives them character. Yeah, lack of a better word. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. See ya!